Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a normal Alpha Julia Quadrifolio. And next to me is an Alpha Julia GTA. We're gonna have a drag race to see if that is worth more than twice the price of this. Well, when it comes to straight line speed anyway, might be worth it when you're going around corners. But enough of that. Let me tell you about this car. Oh, before I do, let's say hi to the driver. Danny, how are you? Hi, Matt. I'm very well, mate. Very, very well. And yourself? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Were you just on your phone? Did I interrupt you? Were you tweeting or something? You don't tweet. You Instagram, don't you? Yeah, I was on WhatsApp, to be honest. Not only fans. Oh, my God. That's just, yeah, it's brutal. Can we get on with the race, please? Okay, we're going to play this little game where we see how much you don't know about that car. So what engine do you think's in it? <sighs> Two litre. Are you just being stupid? I don't even know what I mean. What is this? What is this in Julia? I ain't gonna lie, I don't even know what I'm driving. I just got in the car, I just know it's green. It's a 2.9 litre V6 twin turbo. Okay, a limitata, it says on here, 201 or 500. Yeah, yours is the GTA, it's a limited edition car. Really, really special and expensive. Both these cars, obviously, have the same engine, sort of. In this one, it puts out 510 horsepower, and yours, you've got 540 horsepower. They've both got eight-speed automatic gearboxes, launch control that sometimes works and doesn't work because alpha. The big difference, though, with these cars is the weight. So mine weighs 1,680 kilos. Yours weighs 1,540. 40 kilos somehow or other alpha have removed 140 kilos from the car so what do you reckon that's worth 70 grand well the normal one that i'm saying is 61,000 pounds yours 155 what is 155 grand's worth of car i don't see it at all now if you like this kind of videos make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on that way you won't miss a single upload buy sell car wow now, before we race, we're going to do the customary car by sound check. So I'm going to rev up this car. Am I in full sport and race? Yeah, I am. Yeah, there we go. Let's rev it up. I love the fact that Alpha let you rev all the way up. No soft limiters over in Italy. Rev yours up. See, Yanni, basically, part of the increasing cost is the enhanced exhaust system. It sounded better, didn't it? What, the 95 grand exhaust system? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Um, right, let's move on. Before we do, if you're thinking of selling your car and you need to find out how much it's really worth, then just click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description to go to Carway. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, and find out how much it's worth. And if you want, you can sell the car to one of our dealers or not. It's free, no obligation. Anyway, let's race. Up his wheels. <laughs> oh, it's gaining though. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, I think I won that just, but I still think I won it. I don't actually know, but when I come past you, I could see your face be like, uh-oh, what's going on? But wait a minute, you didn't actually come past me. You mean when you like got almost level with me, but not quite as we reached the quarter mile. It's quite interesting that I decided to just brake boost my car ever so slightly, and it was a bit slow off the line, but yours just seemed to spin up its wheels. Yeah, I had no traction whatsoever. It doesn't seem to engage launch control this. I don't know why. Did yours say launch control on the dash? I saw a checkered flag, so I assume that's launch. They're weird, these things. They sometimes have launch control, sometimes they don't. They just... Anyway, I'm going to brake boost it a bit more and see what happens. You just keep it in race, but just a bit of a brake boost. So not too much. Just tickle the throttle so you don't spin at the wheels. Just tickle it. Not Obviously with your foot, not with your hands, because that'd be stupid. OK, I'll give it a little tickle. So I'm really going to stamp on the brake now and give it a bit more throttle. Three, two, one. Oh, it's sideways. Little tickle. Ooh, a little tickle worked well. I think my first attempt was better. All about the little tickle, mate. When you're dealing with an Italian, a little tickle always works. But I do think I won the first one, so let's do best two out of three. What are you going to go with? I'm going to go with the first way I drove. What about you? Are you going to use that little tickle? Obviously. <laughs> right, this should be the fairest race. We're both going to launch in the same way. Let's see if we can both get our tickling just right so we manage to 
launch exactly together, like simultaneously. For a mass explosion. That's good from both of us. We tickled perfectly. Ah, oh, he's home free. Well, I think we tickled perfectly and we both spontaneously, simultaneously left the line together, but yours was stronger. <laughs> what are we going on about? I came first. Thank you. That's what you always say to your wife, right? Yep. <laughs> so then what exactly happened? Well, the GTA won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.8 seconds. The Quadrifoglio took 12.4 seconds. Now we're going to a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are in race mode, but automatic mode for the gearbox. We're going to see which is quickest to the half mile. I'm going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. Bit of a pause. Ah, oh, dropped him. I wonder if he's going to get extra drag from his wing. That package cost £7,000 for the extra carbon on that. That car just seems quite a bit quicker. That extra power combined with the weight reduction just seems to do the business. Yeah, to be fair, once it's moving, it does pull. It's quite nice, actually. Right, now we have a rolling race. Once again, from 50 miles an hour. But this time, the cars are in manual mode for the gearbox, so we'll change ourselves. So, three, two, one, go. Pickup's pretty good. Incredible acceleration. That's just quicker. Yeah, you just gap me, don't you? Yeah, this is nice. This really accelerates well from third gear. Let's just try one more thing. Right, same thing again. Rolling race to the half mile, but this time from 30 miles an hour with the cars in second gear. Three, two, one, go. Look at him, just pull in again. Off it goes, look at that. Missed the gear change and I still batted him. That is a big difference, you know. It's gotta be the weight, hasn't it? Maybe there's more to it as well, I don't know. Maybe it's Yanni's skill. That is noticeably quicker, isn't it? But is it worth twice the price? It's quick, but I don't know if it's 155 grand quick. Right, now we're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. I call that a clean sweep, mate. A total clean sweep. That, that's your less weight right there, isn't it? <laughs> that meter. Broke very well. It's, listen, it's a nice car. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know whether you think that Alpha GTA is really worth £155,000 in the comment. We've got a pinned comment. You can vote on it there. If you want to watch some more videos, just click on those windows. And if you click on that box there, you can make sure you subscribe to this channel. Just hit it and subscribe. It's my face. Smile. Click. Click. Smile. Thanks for watching.